All right, well, I guess we'll just jump right into this. Um, I'm TK4510. This is a TE2 Stormtrooper helmet. Uh, probably the closest thing to a real screen used helmet out there. Uh, I painted this uh, for a guy, and uh, I'm going to do all the detail painting now. Uh, before I get started with that, I'm just going to go over a couple things. Uh, when you paint a helmet like this, um, if you've seen the other videos, uh, I used to use a, uh, a Rust-Oleum Professional uh, Gloss White paint, and, and I have since stopped using it because it's so finicky that it just drove me insane. Uh, every helmet that I would paint, I would have to sand it down and repaint it and repaint it. And, the paint never seemed to be dry enough, you know, it just always seemed a little tacky and it would it would sit out here in the garage for a week before I would even touch it after I painted it. So since then I've uh, started using Krylon Indoor Outdoor Gloss White and um, I, I'm getting really good results with that. Honestly it's not as glossy as the Rust-Oleum. The Rust-Oleum out of the can, if you can get it to lay down it looks really awesome, but uh, unfortunately that comes with some high risks to a lot of uh, uh, fish eyes and uh, if the helmet's not completely perfectly clean and you get all kinds of weird stuff going on. You get uh, uh, propellant trapped under the paint that causes bubbles. It's just a mess to work with. So anyways, I use a white primer and I use uh, the Krylon paint. I use the white primer because the Krylon paint is a thinner paint and it does not cover as well as the Rust-Oleum. Uh, if you use a gray primer, you're going to be hitting the helmet with several coats of paint, which I had to do with this one. <laughs> uh, so you're going to want to use a white primer. All right, so that's that. Uh, going into uh, the other stuff we have here, uh, I always keep some paint thinner handy for instant cleanups when you're hand painting a helmet. You want to make sure that if, if you do mess something up, you can get into it and clean it right away. Um, and the paint thinner is really good. I use the uh, cotton swabs to get in there if you just need to clean off a small edge of something, like maybe you got a, a little run you need to clean up. This comes in real handy. And always have a uh, you know an extra rag laying around that you can wipe up big messes with. Uh, the paint that I'm going to be using is the Home Roll paints. Um, the Humberwell paints match my decals pretty well. Uh, I like the, the fact that it lays down really smooth. You don't see streaks. Um, it does take a little bit of time to dry and you do need to stir it frequently. And when you, when you first get them, you got to shake them for a couple minutes. And then I usually use a, a, a toothpick to, uh, to stir it up for another couple minutes. And then while I'm painting, uh, Every once in a while, I'll, I'll hit it with a, a toothpick and stir it up a little more. Um, I have some extra cups here that I keep paint thinner in so that when I'm done with a specific brush, I can, um, I can just drop it in the, in the cup with the paint thinner in it. Um, these paper ones do tend to weep a little bit. I mean, they kind of leak. But, you know, I'm using a, a paper bottom here, and, and these were in the bathroom, so, hey, I'm using them. Uh, the brushes I use... Uh, for the vocoder or uh, chin area, I use a, a size 9 um, circular tipped brush. It's, it's flat and it's also circular on the edge. And that really gives you a nice, it gives you a nice, uh, nice look on the vocoder when you're painting it. Uh, so that's, that's why I use that brush. Um, for the teeth area, I usually use uh, a brush like this. This is a, a number two. Um, it is a round tip brush, uh, but it is also kind of a liner. And you could, I use it for basically uh, the middle of the uh, frown all the way down till I get down to this last tooth. And once I get down here, I may step down to something like this, which is a uh, a number 10 uh, zero, uh, which is a, it's a liner brush, uh, and then I'll use that to finish off the rest of the uh, the rest of the frown. Also, I have here another zero brush, which is more of a liner. Um, 
and I'll do that for those. For the uh, for the ears, I'll usually this is just me, but I'll, I'll usually paint the bulk of the gray with the round tip brush that I use for the vocoder, just because I usually have it laying here. And then uh, to go around the edges, I'll use the uh, the number two uh, to just go around the edges of the uh, the ear to get the gray in. Um, once all the gray dries overnight, then I'll come back with a, a liner like this uh, this zero here or maybe even uh, this one here and uh, this is another zero and I'll, I'll come around and I'll do the the black stripe and, and uh, see what else. Um, I also use this brush for the the traps and the tears. Um, for the uh, tube stripes themselves I make a masking template that, that uh, we'll lay on here and then we'll just basically mask around it so we don't get any mess anywhere and I will use, you know, you can basically use any of these brushes as long as you just, you know, paint it very gracefully and not slop it on. If you do slop it on, it does have a tendency to want to creep under the mask, and that, that's not a big deal either because you can you can uh, clean that up with a, a toothpick or um, a little bit of a, a Q-tip with the with the cotton swab ripped off and just a little bit of the cotton on the end of it and some paint thinner. You can clean up the tube stripes really nicely, and no one will ever be able to see the difference. Um, when I'm all done with my helmets, I usually hit them with some Novus and I'll, I'll hit them in all the areas that uh, that I don't paint, you know, with the hand painting. Um, and I usually finish up the whole thing with a little bit of car wax. I have heard that uh, you don't want to use car wax, but I've never had a problem with it. And uh, sometimes if I hit it with Novus and then hit it with car wax and then hit it with Novus and then hit it with car wax, um, for some reason it just keeps getting shinier and shinier. So I'll show you that uh, when we're all done. I, I did put a little Novus up here because I had to wet sand this a little bit. Uh, so I have polished that out. Um, and that's about it for now. Uh, tomorrow or maybe even this weekend when I have more time I will be doing the, uh, the masking and painting on it. Oh and then I, I usually finish off by you know painting the ears I forgot to mention that, painting the, the screws. And I use uh, my wife's white nail polish, which comes in really handy. It dries rock hard, and uh, it looks good. So there you go. Uh, I think that's it for tonight, because I'm pretty tired. <laughs> All right, so thank you for watching, and we'll catch up tomorrow.